Oh, Maron, what are you doing? Hey, like, comment, subscribe, share. Do everything you got to do, man. It goes a long way, trust me. You like my shirt? Get straight into the episode. First and foremost, I just want to start with a minute silence for something not related to what we usually speak about, but for members and our good friends, Moses's UFC predictions. <sighs> if anyone hasn't seen the UFC show that we did last week, please I'm, go I'm watch sure, it. I'm sure, the I'm sure they've seen I'm sure they've seen You know what? You have to be silent. <laughs> you must be silent. Hey, you're going to cop a proper grilling today. Uh, I know. Yeah, is you, Tanaka, you're yeah. going to grill him with me? Are we in on this together? Yeah, well, Tanaka can't feeling. grill me. Why I'll not? He feel. wasn't here. Why not? He wasn't here. All right, anyway, guys, uh, TK, that's the intro. I like the intro very much. Yep. Did you, you just premeditate it while I was on my way yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Actually, we didn't. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Moses. Uh, <laughs> man, that episode went uh, crazy. It's still going crazy. For us, crazy. It's almost, I think it's had a thousand views. And uh, it was just the boys giving their takes on the UFC, what's happening. We're not going to talk about the UFC in this episode. You can hold your horses a little bit. The boys will be held accountable in I a don't few want days. That smoke. Yeah, we don't want. Uh, you see, <laughs> go see my comments. Admin does not agree because I'm the admin and I don't agree with their freaking shit takes. We, we <laughs> tried the Mr. Beast method, you know. Nah, bro. Make listen, it, bro. When you talk, when you speak facts, nobody wants to listen. Yeah. When you speak something crazy. And you got to give a shout out to the thumbnail, man. I'm the thumbnail goat at the moment. And the title was. And well. the title. The title was pretty good. Yeah. But when you when you give a little bit of controversy, everyone wants to just comment. And many were talking about this in the group. We're like, Mems is like, everyone was commenting before they even watched the second. I was like, uh, what, what did I say? Video retention? It was yeah, like yeah. Point zero seconds. There is no retention, bro. It's, I don't it's, think there's ever been a video that's got comments before they've even watched anything. <laughs> The retention's like this, bro. <laughs> it, was like it's, it took them three minutes to write their comment and leave it, and then they just left. So when you speak hot, you don't get anywhere in life. So like everyone, everyone just yeah. talk shit and you get very far. Just before we get into what we love to speak about, um, shout out to whoever left the comment that made me laugh. Oh, that was Absolutely. the best. <laughs> best comment about. Can you read you it, please? See? Can you read it, please? <laughs> I need to get pull it out, pull it out, read Two it. Two seconds. Whoever yeah. wrote this comment, you made me fucking a laugh. So I can Bro, that um, was the funniest shit ever, bro. Hang on. It was uh, like a proper uh, like. Hey, hey, do you know what's listen. even do you know what's even worse? You saw how hard I worked all weekend for that content. Yeah, well, I, I seen it. I seen the I seen the effort. And I, now Mems is like, effort makes progress. Yeah. I put a <laughs> lot of effort into those clips, into those like that was all me. I, I think I, I, I don't think it was like harder to do. It was it's and not Moses, harder. And it, Moses. It's not harder, it's just there was more work involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I had this stuff. So shout out, big and big, big shout out to yeah. Moses. Um, yeah. We're actually going to do like a UFC sports show. I want to try and get him and Luca on as well. Uh, I've already spoken to him. Him and Luca, yeah. I think, are the UFC heads. I don't really know much about UFC. I just know that Islam is killed on the weekend. And Shh. anyway, we'll, we'll leave it for, the, the for your episode. Just to wrap it up, the comment goes to someone by your handle is Kakashi Mamoon. <laughs> uh, and I quote, please don't be too hard on yourselves. Everyone has room for improvement. Let's try to embrace the fact that we need to work on our MMA analysis <laughs> and try approach our opinions with an open mind. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> you me. Uh, bro. bro, that's gold, bro. Do you know what's crazy? Is that out of everyone I know, I think I've got the most MMA knowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're still wrong. <laughs> Anyway, we're not here to talk about MMA. We're here for the football heads, the football fans. Football's finally back. It's been a crazy Thank weekend. Thank God, I, I like this side. <laughs> yeah, he's bullshitting. He doesn't like we this side. We keep our opinions to ourselves <laughs> on false nine, but don't. Please speak on the... If we say something stupid, let us know. Yeah, 100%, man. And uh, I feel like we're going to have a bit more casual takes on, on the false nine as well because it attracts attention and... You bring attention and then people start understanding the actual value you I, provide. I walk so these boys could run. Yep. <laughs> yep. Anyway, listen. It's for all the football heads. We're deprived <laughs> because of international break, but we're finally back. A lot has happened. A lot is happening. Uh, hang on. Before we go on and we kick into motion, we dropped two videos this last week, okay, on our YouTube channel. I want you to go compare the comments we got on both those videos. Yeah. <laughs> Best episode, boys. This uh, is uh, very uh, wholesome. I made a. Hey, we I actually a dropped a wholesome video last week, and yeah. then we ruffled everyone. Right, I even had my auntie. Oh yeah, let, let's talk about last week's yeah. episode because it had a very good, good, some good feedback. And um, you know, we don't like getting into like politics and that. We like to make this place an escape. But bro, a lot of the females in my family and a lot of people I know, females especially, told me that was the best episode yet. Yeah, please make more of that. We because we want to watch you, but we know nothing about sports. Like we don't know nothing about your team. We don't care. But we want to watch you talk because it's entertaining and whatnot. And I'm, I'm just thinking that every week or two, we'll try and fit in a couch talks and we'll just debrief and just talk about shit that we care about. 
and things that matter in the world or just it could be anything it could be an interesting controversial topic we'll speak about it but yeah shout out to all the females that support us shout out to all my all the family members of mine that watched the episode and all the boys family that watched it we love you man it's a it's a pleasure and an honor yeah but as I was saying, so two of our best episodes today. Anyway, football is back, right? A lot of shit happened. A lot of shit is happening, and I just wanna I wanna start off by saying, um, Bobby, uh, Sir Bobby Charlton. Over the weekend, Sir Bobby Charlton passed away, and as you all know, I, I don't know much about him. I know he's a legend. Um, I don't really care for anyone in Man United, but obviously the legends are the legends, and we must give them re their respect because they paved the way for the game. Um, I'm gonna let Tanaka give it away with who Sir Bobby Charlton was and what he means to him and his club. Yeah, so just keep it nice and short. Um, so, so Bobby Charlton was like one of the pet pioneers at Man United. Um, long story short, so for those people that know United's history, in 1958, um, there was a plane crash where a Man United player died. And Bobby very, very Charlton tragic. was actually on that plane. He survived. Um, and following that tragedy, stayed on, played with the club. And it was quite remarkable because eventually it led us to winning our first um, European Cup, or the Champions League as we know it nowadays. Um, and then in addition to that, he was an England legend as well, leading England to the 1966 World Cup as well. Um, Ballon d'Or winner as well um, at Man United. So he is someone who is held in high regard. And even up until, I guess, he sadly passed away, he was still involved in the club and he's a prominent figure around the club. So he is someone who Man United fans should and do hold dearly in their heart. And yeah, may he rest in peace. I think all football fans um, have have a lot of respect for him. Man, legends. When the legends go, we we all get we all get to feel it a little bit and understand that you know they gave something to the game that we love. We might have the banter, we might have the animosity of people going against each other because they're rivals. But in the end of the day, we're all united as one, really. And respect to Sir Bobby Charlton. Um, I want to speak about um, another le or a, a legend. So you spoke about club legend. I want to speak about my club legend. And players is getting cancelled around the Palestine topic. Um, Man, look, athletes come out and started speaking. You've seen a lot of NBA athletes stick with the with the wrong side of the argument, not knowing anything. Um, but I'm just proud to say that a lot of the Muslim, a lot of the Muslim football players have united. A lot of the uh, Muslim, a lot of the uh, teams around the world have united, or as one to to stop this genocide, stop this tragedy that's happening. They're sticking to the right side. They're voicing their opinions. My club being one of them, Liverpool. You know, we had a minute of silence. I just wanted to give a big shout out to all the football clubs and football players that united as one to stick with being against genocide, to voicing their opinion, being the ones not scared of any risks they're taking. Um, before we get into the main man, I want to speak about, I want to give a shout out to Mahrez, Benzema, Mo Salah, Yusuf Atal. Well, Mo Salah was the main man. Yusuf Atal, Mazraoui, Anwar Ogazi, Dan Yuma, and someone who isn't of a Muslim faith, it's Maria Guardiola, Pep Guardiola's daughter, and I want to give a shout out to Pep and Mourinho because in past interviews, I've heard him speak a lot about, you know, people ask him about Ukraine and whatnot and they say, all right, we care about this, but there's also these countries, you know, that we never mentioned. Why Pep, don't we ever mention them? Pep comes from one of those countries, Catalonia. Yeah, so, so yeah. he sort of has, he understands what's happening. He's not the one that's blind. But boys, I want to speak about these players getting cancelled. And none of us, are, I don't know if you were surprised, Tanaka. Were you surprised by this at all? I wasn't surprised, not one bit. Wasn't it just the one? No, from there's Bayern? all these players right now. Bayern played in Munich, so there was a few clubs that a lot of players got cancelled. Mares, a lot of people started speaking about him. He doesn't really care. He's in the Saudi league now. Mm -hmm. Same as Benzema. Benzema actually copped it from the fr from the French people. I am not so surprised, am I? They they sort of have is an agenda. Is that the first time they've given it to Benzema? It's not the first time they've <laughs> given it to any Muslims that that stood up. You know, Hakimi the other day, Hakimi and a few other Muslim players stood up to something and they got abused. Anyway, that's not the point. The point shout is... Out, shout out to the Liverpool fans at Anfield. Oh, I loved it. I was so happy, bro. I was When that one minute of silence went on, I was like, come on, you scales. I even know what... Sign, I know. Even the sign, like, fuck's yeah. sake. That, yeah. That's what the sign was. Fuck's sake. Like, seriously. Please just let him be free. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. honestly, Benzema actually got his nationality stripped off him. Apparently. I don't know but if But even true. if he did, I don't think he gives a shit. Nah, he doesn't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> he doesn't. He's Algerian in the, I think he's Algerian in the end of the day, like Mares, like a lot of these players. But uh, Mo Salah for me, uh, sorry, by Munich, came out and said, we stand by Israel. Our sporting director is Jewish. Yeah, Habib, it's not about being Jewish. It's not about being anything. It's about understanding what's happening in the situation. But anyway, Mo Salah, I just want to say I'm so happy and I'm so proud that he plays for my team. And his message was very, very tactical. He never said... I'm with this, I'm with that. We all obviously know who he's standing by. But that video, I think, reached 100 million views in like 24 hours. 
which is insanity, bro. He is right now the biggest Muslim in the world. He's the face of football yeah. for Muslims. Yeah. So if, that's why when people tell me about Saudi and except 150, I'm like, bro, we can give we can get about 300 from Saudi the right whole now. Whole Middle East is running around with most Salah jerseys. And he's just he's him, man. He's one of the best players after Messi and Ronaldo. You know, in them areas, respect respectfully. And that video, I just want to give him a big credit, big shout out. I don't think Liverpool could cancel him. I think Liverpool actually helped him with the message. I think Liverpool, he used their cameras yeah, to make the video. <laughs> <laughs> I think he used their studio. He used their I wouldn't be surprised if it was uh, someone from PR that looked at what he was going to say. Yeah. And said, hey, um, before he spoke, just grabbed said, him hey, before he said anything. Don't say yeah. certain things. Because I know he might stand on a certain side, but irregardless of what's happening, whatever's like, Opinion, your voice, you're going to incite violence 100% um, and hatred. So, yeah, I think just it was like you said, it was tactical, it was very smart on his part. Um, and he had to do that. It's not right, man. Like, it's funny that, and I don't want to go into this, but it's funny how footballers get told to wear a certain armband or a certain captain's <laughs> band that gets shoved down their throat. And if they don't want to participate, that's an issue. But when it comes to voicing their opinion on certain political issues... Of their own like, people. It's like, hey, you can't do that. They pick and choose. And what they do is they want to appeal to whoever has the biggest cash dollar. And it's not right. Um, so credit to whoever, to the players that have come here and gone, fuck it. Like, I don't care if I get paid or not. Never um, saw I'm, saying, I'm saying what i got to do. I'm it happened with the Ukraine. You remember when the yeah, Ukraine thing happened? I was going to say, never saw Zinchenko get cancelled for wearing his Zinchenko, own uh, Man or Solomon. One of the most putrid scumbags on this earth. I pray you get five ACLs in all your knees in all your lifetime. I actually have no remorse for you, for anything you want to do. Because he's actually a good player. He played, came from Fulham and he used to score bangers for him. And I seen his nationality and I'm like, I hope this guy doesn't become a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Because I know how these people are. And then, bro, he put up a post. I don't know if you've seen it. He's like, he's like these people are killing their people and complaining, to, crying to us. I was like, bro, what? Why haven't you cancelled? Why haven't you said anything? I know they're not going to say anything. I know that they're like, oh, come under my wing. Habibi, we'll look after you. You know what I mean? So just an absolute scumbag. Anyone that stands by this disgust, but you're a scumbag dog, I pray nothing but bad things happen to you. I have no remorse ever. And I'm a fucking nice person. Ask the boys. I'm a very, very nice person. I just disrespected Bobby Charlton and he rinsed me. No, that's different. <laughs> yeah, that's, different. that's what I'm saying. He's a nice person. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. you support a different team. Uh, this is not about a team, bro. This is about blood buff, bro. I'm not talking about anything you got to do with that. No, I'm just highlighting um, what a nice person you are. But yeah, that's my stand on that. And just unrelated, sorry, it's unrelated right. but related, just to bring it back. Like, everyone I know watched the UFC yesterday and look at the way Hamza spoke. All of them. We, we, all of them, but I'm just going to point out Hamza because the way Hamza presented it, he said, no kids should he's be dying. He's the most dying. psychotic person there yeah. too, right? in the whole no arena. No kids should be dying. Like it's sh Innocent people shouldn't be dying from either side. Like innocent people. Like innocent people. I'm going to specify innocent people, right? Shouldn't be dying from either side. It's not right. Like I said, and we spoke about being grateful last week, you don't get to choose where you're born and where you live and all of that from birth. Like you can influence those things later on in life. But if you're an innocent person caught in the conflict, you don't deserve death. Death. The people who have done wrong will face judgment when it's time to face judgment. So, yeah, it's my two cents, bro. Love how you said that, TK. Yeah. My buddy. Yeah. <laughs> bro, no, no one instant deserves shit in nah. life. Man. I don't care whether you're black, white, Asian, Mexican, whatever you are. If you're innocent, I, I don't care. It's happening again. <laughs> we solved racism, <laughs> boys. If you're innocent, like, you don't deserve that because there's people that just get caught up in it. And I, and I feel bad. Collateral damage all the time. It That's happens in worst. every problem. Those are the people I feel worse for. And it's like, if you look at history and you look at every single war we've had, like, for as far as people might say, oh, yeah, the Germans started the war. The German people, not everyone was part of the German people wanted to go to war. Yet they got crossed with the crossfire. Yet they get labelled with the same brush. Over time, people just get caught up in it, bro. You know, so innocent people, like, yeah, just, yeah, I hope they're safe. Touch bro. on that for the UFC before we get into all the football stuff. Bro, I loved everything about everyone that won yesterday. Like, you could see on their faces, they were not happy. Mm. Like, Islam didn't celebrate. Kamzat didn't celebrate. Bro, Kamzat just got a fight, title fight out of this. Mm. Like, he's going to fight for the belt and he's probably going to win that. Or whatever it is. You know, Islam just beat Volk and shut, just put a nail on that uh, a nail on that coffin forever. No one's going to ever bring that up again for I don't know how long. But they weren't happy, bro. They weren't celebrating. And I just think that the way the UFC handled it, especially in being in Abu Dhabi, was very, very good. That's and I give a big credit to Dana, Dana White. Dana White. And Dana White is, and I know a lot of people don't like Dana White, but you got to give him his credit where his credit is due. He is a businessman, right? But he doesn't need anyone. 
He's got fuck you money. Yeah, when it's it his, came when it came to COVID, he did the same thing. He yeah. said, "Fuck all of you. I'm opening this up, and we're gonna continue." <coughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. I like that. I think th that's a man, bro. That, that, that's respect to and, someone being a man. And I think the thing with Dana is Dana. He lets his fighters be who they yeah, are. Yeah. He doesn't care what you do. Just fight for me. Make my money. Make weight. Yeah. And just show up to fight. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't care. Don't make and way. don't leak rumors. <laughs> It he gets angry, bro, when someone leaks something. Yeah, I mean, look at Ariel Hawaii. Yeah. He's still exiled. Yeah, that, he that's all he cares like back about. in another event in his life. Yeah, Never that's ever. all Dana cares yeah. about. And I love that about Dana because he could easily just be like, oh, no, nah, I don't want my Muslim bright fighters to be saying this and I don't want my bread bro, to be associated. Yeah, look how many Muslims he's got he on He just goes, nah. He goes, just come fight. If you want to say anything, say anything. And it's like the thing when someone asked him in a press conference, it's like, oh, Izzy's been saying the N-word or is calling the N-word. And he's like, what the fuck? So I didn't what? care. He goes, so what? I, got, I can't be the judge of that, bro. It's not my... <laughs> uh, yes. Anyway, boys. Anyway, sorry. Football. Football, yeah. boys. First of all, let's get into the Merseyside, Merseyside derby. Um, very hard to watch. But it happens. It's a derby. It's a very tough game. Uh, I just want to speak about Salah again, once again. The guy had an absolute stinker of a game, bro. Mo Salah was shocking. You you probably I don't know if you, you watched it with me, right? I was awake. Bro, Mo Salah was shocking. No, no, he was. Wallah he was. And and everyone can agree with me. All the Liverpool fans agree with me. He was taking like first touches were going everywhere. Obviously, he's still no, a good player. We still I remember, know. I remember. What? He was not shocking. The Liverpool just kept the, they, Inshallah, yeah, because yeah. you were saying Mo Salah and Inshallah. Yeah, because like, Liverpool just kept getting into the final third, shitting the bed, and then just going, Salah help. No, but he's the main focal point. Yeah, but yeah I know. There but was just, points where he was trying to take people on and he's like, it's because Mikelenko, Mikelenko, Mikelenko. It's because they just kept giving him the ball and he's like, hey, do uh, you do something? He didn't look, he didn't look like he was, he, he was I, having I think a game. He, they were over-dependent on and him. And he still game. walked away with two yeah. freaking goals, bro. No, no solid, bro. <laughs> but just to, again, just just to winger in the league. Just to defend his might, yeah. In like, the world. Yeah, just to defend him as well, man. Like, we, we speak about, we just spoke about all the Muslim players and all the Muslim things, you got to remember this shit might be affecting them. Oh, the one hundred percent was so, affecting him. Like, just if he plays like shit, cut him some slack, but he still does his job, man. You know, that, that's why I think, he, uh, bro, I could see on his face, he was like, even when he scored, yeah, bro, he didn't celebrate. Yeah, he said he did. He done the. He done, yeah, yeah, that's it. No, he done the sujood. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't. Oh, he didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah, scored the pen it. and he yeah, just, yeah, think. He just yeah. But of course, it affects him, bro. And mm. it's crazy because how great is he and how much influence he has. Still turned up, played the early kickoff game that we freaking hate. <laughs> bro, we have like four. You see how much yeah. kick, early kickoffs we have? And people were complaining about Klopp. He um, goes, Liverpool fans complaining again. Uh, and then it's... Thing. Anyway, uh, another point I want to bring up. Full credit to Mo Salah. Inevitable. I want to bring up how much I love Sean Dyche. Because honestly, I freaking love him, bro. He's actually... The, he's got to be one of the funniest the managers card, ever. Red card and sticks to his guns. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the ball from going in at that end. Bro, he is... Go What's take it? it, say it, say it. Mems, Mems does it. I didn't want to cut him off. No, no, go Mems, go on. <laughs> Stop it going in from that end. Put the ball in the other end. <laughs> That's it. That's football. That's <laughs> no colourful boots. <laughs> Just get in the ball and fucking hoof it. Practice and, and though. Was it, was, I reckon he gave Ashley Young a tip uh, uh, when he got red card. He's like, well done, son. Well done. This yeah. is what you got to do at Anfield. <laughs> and he's uh, a Liverpool remember, supporter. Remember what I said? I forgot ever to strike his name, but every time he got the ball, he was that isolated. I'm Be like, bro. Uh, Beto. Yeah, I'm like, bro, Beto is literally <laughs> pushing shit up a hill because he gets the ball. <laughs> and he's like, and, he, and he's like, well, wait, what now? And Matip comes, Van Dijk comes, everyone just pops in. Look like a guy on his first job at work. Yeah, <laughs> first day at work. So. I, I really rate him as well, bro. Yeah. I think he's I a great, too, great striker. He, yeah, he was putting shit, he, he was pushing shit up um, a hill. Another point, boys. Uh, we love Sean Dyche. Kanate not being sent off. Do yeah. you agree with that? Do you yeah. disagree with that? I think in Terre's game, it's lucky. But in my opinion, it's never a foul. Who cares, bro? No, I know, but who I just want to... You know what's going to happen? You know, because the refs do whatever they want, People are going to say, so he cries when he doesn't get a call. I want to hear... I'm like, oh, I'm going to give you your freaking time now. All right? He should have probably got a second yellow. I still don't think it was. It's very light. It was like one step below the Kovacic one. One step below. Yeah, yeah. Ko well, Kovacic was clear. Yeah, yeah. It's, this it's is, like, uh, ah, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you don't give it. Yeah, yeah. Anfield, Merseyside derby. Mm. We understand. But I, uh, Young's, is his name Young? Ashley Young. Ashley yeah. Young's one was horrendous, bro. He just went. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, I feel sorry for him because if you watch him go for that tackle, he, he could have got it. No. He slipped. No, no, <laughs> no it's not that so he slipped. Awkward. Diaz put his foot in front Forward, of the ball. Because yeah. he would have actually eventually got the ball. Yeah, he yeah. just went. But Diaz is like, uh -huh. <laughs> Diaz like, oh, what's that? Red <laughs> card. <laughs> Uh, but we should have got. We, I feel like we should have got a pen in that game as well. I'm not going to talk about it. Who cares? Oh, oh yeah. In the box, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, Nunes and Elliot. I just want to give their little flowers before we move on from this game. 
Uh, well, phenomenal off the bench, but I think Nunes has to start now, bro. I think Klopp, enough's enough, wallah. Like, he's plays ripping off for Uruguay he's, as well. He's doing unbelievable things international level. Yeah. Shout out to Luca. Um, <laughs> he's, bro, he's just scoring goals and having fun, bro. I think you got to start him now, Klopp. I think it's time we get him in and let him get a feel what's, of that what's, team. What's your front three for Liverpool? Who would you Diaz, start? Nunes, Salah. Even when Gakpo's mm. back, Diaz, Nunes, Salah. It varies because when you verse a team that needs, you need to play with a false nine. I think Gakpo is way better. That Someone that drops in. Like Jota did that against Everton. He was dropping in a bit. That, that Salah and Dawizi link up. I'm, I'm living for can it. We, can you tell us the the uh, the stat for that, please? Was I think it, it's eight assists eight that assists, Nunes has. All of them. Scored by Mo Salah. <laughs> it's like, bro, Nunes like, I give you, you pass. <laughs> I run, I pass, you KDB score. KDB and fucking uh, Harlan and, and from Wish. <laughs> hey, that's the biggest lot from Wish. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, man, I, I, I feel like we need a DM so bad. But bro, we, our midfield, but watching hey, McAllister. Hot take. Hot take. Calvin Phillips for 30 mil to Liverpool I don't know man I wouldn't go near it I wouldn't go near it either for um, 30 mil 30 mil is nah. cheap probably 15 I'll f take it to mum tomorrow I wouldn't go near it that's an English quota player and it's Calvin Phillips I, would, I wouldn't go near it I don't think Liverpool will I know but like the only reason I wouldn't go near it like I think one Calvin Phillips at top level football like that sort of caliber club I can't see him playing there again mm. Um, and you I think just, it's done for him, so he will just go to like. I don't know, bro. I just get sketchy. Like I look at Donny, for example, man. Like when a player hasn't played a lot of football for whatever circumstances, it's hard to get them to go back to their pre, like not playing football level. It's very hard. Like he hasn't kicked a ball that much. His confidence will probably be short, like shot. Like it's way different, it's man. It's just too much of a risk. I'll give you. If you're like, you need Everton, you need game fitness as well. Like yeah. you need to actually realize you're, you're on the Ever pitch. If you're Everton, Fulham, Aston Villa, like someone like that, you take the gamble for thirty million. Yeah. Like whatever. Especially you know? his experience now. He's got some experience yeah, there at City. I just feel like if Liverpool were to sign or a top club was to sign Calvin Phillips, it'd be like a stopgap signing. Mm. Like, it's just like, oh, we can't. We'll just get him. We need a DM. It's cheap. Let's, let's just go. get him. Like, and let's, let's see how he goes. Because I think you put, put an extra 10 million on that. You go into Europe, you'll, you'll find someone easy. So, you'll find a gem. You'll There's already one, Andre. Yeah. The one that we're getting, the Brazilian guy, hopefully we get him. But yeah, I think we need a DM to challenge. Um, anything else in the Liverpool game, boys? Yeah, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not I much. I don't have anything to add after this. Yeah, because uh, sadly enough, Mems fell asleep and didn't uh, watch I'll, anything after this. Stop. I'll, now I watched City score two goals. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which was in the first 20 minutes, by the way, yeah? You know, and he just yeah. went to sleep after that. They don't watch nothing else. They don't watch the UFC prelims, and he's our UFC content creator, by the way. Woke, I woke him up multiple times. I said, Mems, get up. Makai yeah. is going to fight. I need you to watch this. You know I, was, I, mean? I was yelling Makai from the top of the mountains for like a uh, year. And he was probably asleep under the mountains, because I don't know where he was after that. He watched the last few fights and said, oh, I'm going to make some UFC content now. <laughs> I'm a casual. <laughs> nah, look, I got here, Sui, and I told you... Yeah, yeah. I said I'm gonna. I mean, sleep. we had a feed. We it was it was very late. We yeah. I'm the only one that didn't sleep. I yeah. I, I don't know how you twisted, that. bro. You're, yeah, I'm you're cooked. not normal. Yeah, you're I'm, not normal. Even I, Steve slept. I, are those my flowers, bro? Yeah. <laughs> but Steve was sleeping and moaning in his sleep, cause I'm like, he's well, like, actually, uh, and then he'll tell me, I'll look at him and I'll laugh. He's like, what are you talking about, bro? He's like, what's wrong? I'm like, cousin, are you fucking with me now? I don't know if you're fucking with me because it's what four in the morning. Me? One leg here, one leg there. So he's like, am I hallucinating from <laughs> the no sleep? <laughs> bro, I woke up to go so angry at me. Was bro, I, was so I turned on him. I was like, fuck you, turn around. Don't one leg over here, head over there. <laughs> the blanket was upstairs. I uh, wish I'd stayed up. Yeah, I couldn't due to circumstances. Nah, I did. I, I couldn't right. sleep, bro. Yeah. Um, anyway. Boys, let's talk about Arsenal and Chelsea. Blockbuster game. I, I, saw, I saw that. Go I woke up. Go, go, go. No, no, I woke up and I was like, Oh, Chelsea's winning 2-0 and I went back to sleep. Yeah, you woke up for like three seconds. Um, Arsenal, uh, Chelsea, Arsenal, sorry, my bad. Uh, at the bridge, uh, Chelsea were very good, bro. I feel like they started to do what we thought would happen before From the season one. started. <laughs> 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 no, but before the season started. Yeah. Because we watched the first few games and we're like, eh. But, man, I don't think they've been playing that badly. They just need to score goals. Big point, big talking point for them. They need a bloody striker. They need their injuries, injured players back. I would never understand that, um, I think they just signed Reese James. He came from Chelsea. I think he's back. That he came back to the. <laughs> 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 I was, I was bro. I was like, Reese James Benta, bro. I, I was okay. I was like, <laughs> Are you, is, is, is this all right? Is, is this guy right? fine? <laughs> no, but man, look. Uh, I'm gonna let's speak about the goalkeepers first because Chelsea were two new up. Kepa end up in the in the net. What? Who? Kepa, Kepa plays for Madrid, cause. Oh, uh, sorry, not Kepa. Um, Sanchez. 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 Did Sanchez end up in the net? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> One of them. Anyway, listen. Um. Chelsea were playing very, very well, just to break down how it happened. And then um, Sanchez made a horrible mistake. Goalkeeper Heller. 
And then it just became uh, there was a, actually there was a penalty, and then Sanchez ends up making a mistake for two two. I sort of won the got the momentum towards the end of the game. But bro, I think these new goalkeepers are just look. Back in the days, they would have got judged harsh. I think goalkeepers were getting judged very very badly back in the days. I'm gonna ask you this question, Mems Tanaka. Three goalkeepers. I need you to start bench and sell. Mems, are you ready? I'm taking a photo. Once okay, start yeah. bench sell. Onana. Sanchez from Chelsea or David Raya? This is the worst start. <laughs> Sell them all. <laughs> this is the worst ball playing goalkeepers ever. Wait, Anana. Anana. Let's go. Start bench still. I start David Raya because I've seen him play well. And then I bench Sanchez and I sell Onana. Uh, but Sanchez and Onana are the same. Okay, I'll, like, I'll, yeah. I'm starting David Raya all day. I've rated him for a very, very long time at Brentford. That's what I mean. I it. said he should have went to United. Um, I'm benching Onana. I think that... Fuck, oh man, you know, well, I don't even know, eh? But he's played... Tanaka brought this point up to me before. He's played Champions League finals, played for Ajax. Like, he's a big... Onana's been there, yeah. He's been there. He's done that in the big stage. And this Man United spell he's having isn't really everything about him. No, it's not. It's about it's you. Not. But I just don't like his cockiness. Like, I know co goalkeepers are psycho. But I just feel like he's over psycho, like trying to prove a point too much. So I'll probably go with him as on the bench and I'll sell David San uh, Sanchez. Even though I rate all three of them, bro. I really think all three of them are pretty Just pretty having a bad few weeks. Yeah, TK. Uh, to start on Anana, like what Sui said. <laughs> Why uh, is this guy laughing, bro? I knew he'd laugh. <laughs> um, but Anana, like it's people are judging him off the first 15 odd games he's played for us. He's been bad. I get it. Um, I've, we've spoken so much about recency bias in sports. Ooh, your mic. It came out, it came out. Put it back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think with recency bias, people don't give people credit. Um, so I'm starting with Onana. Again, like I said, he's played Champions League year in and year out. He was in player of the match, arguably, in a final last year. He was gotten to a semi-final with Ajax. Um, bench? I'll probably bench Reyes, sell Sanchez. Yeah. But you know, Sanchez at the start of that, bro, not maybe not the start, but probably a few years back when I was watching Brighton, he was unbelievable. But this was by Jason Steele. Like, I, yeah. I don't understand. I don't how understand it either, but I think the Zerbi just didn't want him anymore. Yeah, that's fair. But I'm just saying, like, if we're doing a starch bench sale, like, he couldn't cut it at Brighton. I'm yeah. not, not trying to disrespect Brighton, but it's not like Brighton went and got, like, a keeper. <laughs> Unbelievably, uh, yeah. yeah. like, you know, what I mean? they got Jason Steele, but it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, so just went and went, they pay him nope. less. <laughs> just get him from the I think the Zerb is like, here. who can I manipulate more? You know, yeah. it looks like that kind of manager that will manipulate people. So that's why I kind of go Raya. I think Raya just has more stock. Like, if I was to go buy a keeper right now, I'd buy Raya before I buy Sanchez. I yeah, think Raya should. Yeah, like, Raya should have went to United. I, I, I thought. I really thought he was, was going to yeah, do that. Yeah. But I did think the Spurs thing came up, and I was like, "Ooh, I don't but know." I did think if even if Raya <laughs> came to United, I think he'd be doing what Anana's doing, but just not as bad. Yeah, I feel like, like they're both cocky, Ra but Ra I feel like Onana is, is like Ray's characteristically cocky. Ray is a pretty good shot stopper compared nah, to Onana. He, he nah, he's way better yeah. shot stopper. Nah, all he day. is. But I'm just saying, I don't think Onana. Was ready for how much ex like shots yeah. he was gonna have to face. I think yeah, was, I think yeah, he just Inter Milan shook were very yeah. very good. Defense. I think he was just shook and went, "What the fuck is this? How many saves you guys have to make?" Fucking De Gea, you respect. <laughs> <laughs> respect David G. Yeah, you know <laughs> how many shots? <laughs> oh, it's like bro. it's like with anything, bro. If you do something like enough times consistently, you're always doing it. You're bound to make a mistake. So, yeah. Um. Boys, both these teams need a striker. But there's one thing that stood out to me most in this game. It's Cole Palmer taking penalties. Because I was like, wait, wait. I was like, who's going to take the penalty? You, you know, Cole And it was like 4 and 30 in the morning. And I'm, bro, why at 4 30 in the morning? Am I sitting here wondering who's going to take the goal uh, penalty for Chelsea? And then this little white boy with like a British pommy front fringe. Pretty big. <laughs> whatever pretty it is. Big. He's pretty big. He's young. I mean, that's what I mean by yeah. little. Pops up with the ball in his hand. I see Sterling arguing with Fernandez. I don't know what Fernandez. Fernandez is like hey, the he's captain. Now. Yeah, he's, he's captain. the actual captain. Bro. I'm the most expensive. Everything else I go. I have the nicest. I won a World Cup. I have the nicest teeth. Yeah, I have the nicest teeth. And, and Sterling's like, bro, what the fuck? I should be taking hey, this. Hey, big man, don't be saying that, big man. <laughs> Not around um, this part, yeah. Boys, what's your what's your opinion on this? Because Cole Palmer's the youngest, probably the youngest guy in the squad. Cole Palmer's the second best player in that team. 
You really believe that wholeheartedly? Uh, statistically, he's got more goals than anyone. Okay, who's who's better than Cole Palmer in that team? Mudrik. Uh, uh, Raheem, Raheem <laughs> no, Sterling. I think Sterling. Yeah, I think Sterling. Sterling's a better player, but Sterling gets disrespected, Walla. Sterling. Even when he was at City, I used to say this. I don't know why people say Sterling's overrated. He's Sterling not. is Chelsea's best player. Uh, definitely. He's Chelsea's best player. He's the guy you should look at. No, I don't think he's the guy you should look at, but. Oh, for a penalty, but I don't no. think he's the guy that's going to improve your team. No, no, no. But like, when you're Chelsea and you need a goal, they're going to look at Sterling. Yeah. That's the kind of leadership that they have. Cole Palmer's the second most proven Premier League player in that team. Yeah, I don't think Enzo doesn't have as many goals as him. Enzo's a different player, but yeah, I get that's what, what I'm. Do you, but do you know what I mean? Like he got, he's got the most brownie points. But it just yeah, it shocks me how it he's was won him. the league. He's got a Premier. Shocks League Shocks me player. how it was him, not Sterling or Fernandez. To be honest with you, I, I think that. Maybe they've seen something from him at training. Yeah, probably. I don't did know. Did he miss or did he score? Nah, he scored. He scored. Oh, he scored. It was a, it it was a great it penalty too. If you score, like, you know matter. when he kicked out, I was like, Man City mentality right there. Yeah. Uh, and we don't score our own penalties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Um, and last thing, Mudrik finally scored. Boys, do we think that he's going to be a great player Get for them. Chelsea? No chance. No chance. He's going to leave with a same tag as Lukaku, same tag as... Every, I don't think so. I every think, yeah. hundred million player that's left Chelsea, oh, what could have I been? I think he's got something in him, bro. I think he can be a great player. But I just don't know if it's Chelsea. I think he could kill it at like Bayern Munich. Do you know what I mean? Does over who? I'm not, I'm not saying over, but like in a team like Bayern Munich. He's got to play a, over who? In a league like... <laughs> nah, I get what you're saying, but yeah, I yeah, think yeah. he'll be at Dortmund in two years. Yeah, uh, in I'm, a team like that. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting their losses quickly. <laughs> they want um, Sancho, they can take Sancho. Boys, talking about pacey wingers, I think it's time we say goodbye to Grealish. Because Fuck. this docu guy, this docu guy is fucking phenomenal, bro. And I know disrespect to Jack Grealish, but I know how refreshing it is for Man City fans to say, hey, Winger actually takes someone on. Because I would, I, we all love Grealish and we all think he's a you know great player. Yeah, a good don't. season. You don't, you don't love him or you don't think I'm, he's great? I think everyone just loved him because loves of him. antiques of post. Relax, bro. Okay, you're bringing everyone back to reality. And Relax, I think that's the most bro. important thing. But... No, no, Grealish is a great player, but I don't feel like he's ever going to be able to be creative at Man City. And if he does get into form, it's not the form that we want to see. It's just the form that helps the team get better. You know, when he's playing in the middle, I think because he's someone exciting, you know, then big calves turning people around, going, having a shot from wherever he wants to. But now it's just run, pass back, run, pass don't back. Don't worry about him. Run, pass back. I see this docu guy, oh and God. I feel like Pep, I feel like Pep's wife is so happy at the moment. I feel like she's so, she's cheering. She's like, finally, this guy, like, he just comes to bed happy. He doesn't have to say a Grealish back pass. Yeah. He just sees Doku go, his, let me take everyone on. Let me take everyone on. His, you know wi I mean? his wife was like, I told you, Pep, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they raised a beautiful daughter, by the way, bro, Maria. But, bro, yeah. Anyway, Mems, as a City fan, is it refreshing to you to see or do you still, because I know you love Grealish. And you try to always give him his flowers and tell me, he's not a flop, he's not a flop. <coughs> I think we play different football with Grealish on the park. Yeah. I think when Grealish is there... It's efficient. His crossing is... Phenomenal. Uh, he's a good player. Way nicer. When he gets the chance to. When he, when he does it. But he doesn't do it enough. He's not confident. He doesn't believe in himself for some reason. You think that? Or Pep just tells him, just just, just pass it around. Yeah, like, just... Yeah. I want you to be part but of this Don't cross system. it unless I know it's going to be... A, a, a ball for Haaland so it could be one of those things as well like what Mebs just said like unless Pep tells him like what if Pep just goes like I can't I don't know how to wear this I can't coach like I can't coach that out of do Doku mm. like the way he plays but so, so I can strengthen. coach but I can coach Grealish the way to just be like any of my other wingers like that. yeah. do you know what I'm trying to say so, so Doku came with this ability to run up players and take them on I think Pep wants to take that and bring it out of him Grealish doesn't have that. Yeah, Grealish is more in the middle. So, vision yeah, left and yeah, vision yeah. right. He's always been the kind of guy to play to your strengths. And I think he plays to Grealish's strengths when he plays him on the left. And same when I don't he think he's bad. No. Grealish is not bad for City. But it's not the Grealish we were used to at Villa. It's not that free he, going, flowing. We've said this before that he's not the main point of the mm, attack. That's so that's true. also why he falls behind. That's but bro, he still does his job. He keeps the ball for us. He runs. Tracks so he backtracks well. so right, well. That's one thing that I have to give him his credit. Yeah. I remember against Liverpool, bro. He just backtracks, backtracks. You know, Defensively, he's unbelievable. Exactly. And Doku doesn't. So there's stuff that Grealish does that Doku doesn't do. Yeah, I think there's two you different could, you players. You could see a situation where in a semi-final for Champions League, Doku's the one doing these ones on the bench. Yeah. And Grealish is like and Grealish is the one playing because Pep just understands. It's good having tactical variety where you can go... This player's good for this Man City, game. Do, that Man City do that the best. I know, I know. Yeah. And 
you, like Grealish will run that extra hard because he knows he's going to pop champagne at the end of the game. Yeah, yeah, he loves the champagne. Do you know what it? I mean? Like, no, no, that's actually a bit like <laughs> he wants to celebrate, bro. So yeah. he's going to make that extra run. He's going to. But Doku is well. He's fun like, to watch. He's eh? a well. It's so good like, to watch. Eh? <laughs> like you tell me, you want Grealish or do you want Doku then? Hey, you probably ordered the Doku jersey already, bro. You know who got cooked on the weekend, and we're not going to talk about it because it's not Chen Alexander Arnold. Kyle Walker got absolutely grilled, bro. He did. He did. Me, Toma. Oh bro, I, I don't know if I, I, don't know if I was hallucinating. I don't know if I was hallucinating because yeah. of the sleep thing, or it was actually happening. I watched the game. No, because no. for me, Kyle Walker is the best right back defensively in the world, better than Hakimi. Don't give me no names. It's Kyle Walker. Defensively, S- say defensively? that again and look at the camera. So, right. right, say that again and look no, at the camera. No, so it's not can... better than uh, most of them offensively. Say no, that again. no, no. Defensively, Bisaka gives him run. run, run, run. What? One sec. Defensively, one sec. Just one sec. Say that again to the camera, please. I think Kyle Walker. Is the best defensive right back in the world. Uh, I, you're gonna tell me about Spider Man, right? What's it, what do they call him? Uh, Spidey. Spidey. <laughs> I'm not hearing Wan Bissaka <laughs> next to him. No, Wan Bissaka is great, but he's not Kyle Walker. There's no yeah, way. Yeah, but he, sh- he didn't get cooked by Matoma like that. Oh, okay, bro. One one player. God. One time. TK, tell me. Your Guess what happened last week? Okay. Liverpool played Brighton. Trent Alexander Arnold locked Matoma up. I I swear, and you never heard about it because it's Trent Alexander Arnold. Trent Alexander Arnold isn't better defensively than Wan Bissaka because he lo- locked up one bloke. No chance, cuz. And I do think Wembisaka is very great defensively, but you're not even close to what to Kyle Walker. No chance. In the How world. many England caps does Wembisaka have? I don't care. I don't even give me stats, cuz. I watch football with my eyes, not yeah. with a freaking pen and paper, yeah. right? Like this. But Mems watches with a pen and paper. <laughs> yeah, Mems watches with his eyes, eyes are closed. Open. <laughs> 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 not only football, you've seen too. Um, but yeah, he got cooked, bro. Matoma <coughs> rinsed him. Um, Brighton just extended his contract. So you know what's happening next year, the year after? 100 mil. 120 plus. Mm. That's happening. Boys, James let's talk Milner about... turned into ice Boys, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about um, some money. Let's talk about Tanali. Let's talk about <laughs> the, the betting scandals that are happening right now. Second best midfielder in the league, lad. It costs two Tanalis. Sec- <laughs> hey, it looks like it costs more than two Tanalis. <laughs> What did Sui say? If you remember this clearly from the beginning, I love to know. Hey. Wait, wait, what did you say? You what? said in January he's going to put in his transfer request. <laughs> Bro, hey, he's not a he beat lot. us to. <laughs> it's like those idiots on the Jibba's cash think, I want to put my transfer request in in January. Watch oh, this. <laughs> oh, he's, when, Watch he, this. when he was working for the Newcastle locker room and they were asking him about the gym and shit, yeah. he was just angry about England's casinos, bro. Nothing else. He's like, fuck this, bro. He's like, what do you use? Yeah, Bet365. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Listen, Tanali. Uh, bro, uh, now I, I was saying, I don't know why he's not suspended yet. Ivan Tony copped it straight away, but I think Ivan Tony took some time. He was still I playing. I think it might have to do, um, I don't even know the facts of this. My only logical explanation was is overseas. it didn't happen in England. So the FA aren't running the investigation. I don't know. They wrapped him up pretty quickly. Nah, I think he'll get in trouble, bro. No, no, I mean, he's going to get in trouble, but I'm just saying, I don't think the FA, because they're not the ones. Yeah, yeah, it'll be someone else. That's my only logical reasoning for it. At least least Newcastle's backing him. Yeah, no, they they, 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 they have to back him. Put 70 M's in there. They have to back him. Because if I go buy a car and it's shit, but I've bought it and put money into it. It's the greatest car of all time. in the world. Watch, once I finish it, you guys, will you watch? (laughs) It's the same as Tanaka of Onana. He's like, everyone's just being (laughs) so quite free now. (laughs) You gotta. You 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 have to protect them. You have to protect them. But boys, listen, do we think that... um, his uh, Newcastle career will be cut short, or do we think it, it, it will scramble up and he'll be all right? Um, I don't think he gets banned like Tony. No, I think no, no, he no. should. No, no, no. He, he should. He does. He definitely, definitely should. No, he definitely he will get banned. His mates are copping bands. You Bro. Can't. And but, his but mates like are snitching. That Fagiola had the FA. KFC ready huh? as well. It's not the FA. No, no, but his mates... No, but it doesn't matter. Football doesn't has a body, top yeah. body. Yeah. FIFA. That's because the... his mates are out there going, yeah, he gave it to me. <laughs> yeah. He was the one that gave me the, the well, discount code. Yeah, all his mates are doing these ones. <laughs> That's a shit go, bro. Tanali, don't worry, bro. You're probably going to be safe in the ends in Newcastle. No one will snitch on you there, but you got to leave your Italian roots at home. And shout out to Hectic Fred. If you know who Hectic Fred is, go and comment on his recent picture. How much Tanali did Tanali cost you? Just comment that and let me know what he says. Um, because I never knew Tanali would make me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, I'm going to give a quick, um, I want to give a big shout out to some strikers. Well, first of all, I watched the Villa West Ham game. This is the last thing we'll talk John about. John McGinn. John McGinn is a phenomenal footballer. Wow. I freaking love him. I don't know. What how, a name, too. I don't know like how my that mate, bricklayer he, is he, so good, bro. And he looks like my mate Ali Helter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like my mate, bro. And he, my mate is a phenomenal footballer as well. Yeah. Bro, this kind. 
He's such a solid kind of. You know what I love about him? Scottish bricks, eh? He, 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 no, he gives me Vardy vibes. That's what I love about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, he's a grump. He's Jamie Vardy he's the vibes. Yeah, 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 I love that. And you know what? You know what, bro? He's like, he's not the biggest, but he's so solid, so strong, and he's got that. He's just sand, cement, concrete. He just concrete. looks like a good labourer. Yeah, yeah, he's a good, like, you great labourer. You know, when you're at work, they're like, these are the labourers, you're like, yeah, yeah. You and you know what? Yeah, a, public, yeah. a big club probably came knocking for him, and he's like, oh, fuck that. I want to stay at Villa, you know? Just, uh, just for the love of the jersey, Johnny. bro. I'll give a big shout out to him. Big shout out to um to Diaby, bro. Villa's team is cooking now. It's doing what I thought it would do. This is why I was, this is why I used to grill Gerard so much. Oh, it definitely. Like, no, no, but you could tell they didn't want to play for him anymore. Yeah, and you he, could tell. And I, I love Gerard, but as a manager, you can see like the writing was in the wall. Tyrone Mings turned into Van Dyke after that because he was he was like he was Harry Maguire, you know. And shout out to Harry Maguire by the way. He had a great weekend, but. We went from that to that, and I'm like, bro, what the fuck just happened? Like, you know, I was looking up. I'm like, what's he looking at? Yeah, I was looking at Nathan Cleary, looking at me, the goat. Um, I was looking for Mings on the walls. Like, hey, I, I want to give Mings a shout out. Walls. I want to give a shout out to to Watkins as well. Um, that whole Villa team is unbelievable, but I want to give a big shout out to Harry Maguire. And we'll do the United talk. It's only been two games. No, no, it's fine. But we'll do the United talk. No, no, because this is United fans don't want to give him bombastic side eye. United fans don't want to give him the credit. And I said, you got to back my boy, Harry I'll, Maguire. I'll give him the credit. No, no, all good. You let him talk. Like, I, I said, I'll give my boy, Harry Maguire, the credit, right? And we'll do this and we'll do oh, one more thing. Oh, your boy now. Okay. Yeah, he's my boy from day one, bro. 5-0, 7-0, 4-0. He's been my boy for a long time, cuz. He didn't even play in the 7-0. <laughs> <Yeah, I know. laughs> he was on the bench clapping off. But, bro, Harry Southgate Mag is over the moon right oh, now. Southgate's like, I fucking told you I'm, I'm freaking the smartest cunt. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's all. You no, just wanted to I'll boom me. After, I'll tell you after. Um, but yeah, big credit to Harry Maguire. I watched the Sheffield game. It looked like Sheffield absolutely dominated them, which is absolutely insanity for the team that United have. I remember watching. Um, and this is not me being a bantering cunt. This is just me speaking facts. Okay, cool. Um, but what were you saying? We're watching. We're watching what? Was that the free kick? Someone scored a free scored a free kick. What game? Who? What are you talking Sheffield, about? United. No, uh, it's no, got no. a penalty. They oh, penalty, penalty. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah, they I mean, went I, to. Uh, I'm trying to remember stuff as yeah, we're recording. Yeah, yeah. But a big shout out to Harry Maguire, bro. Is it time that Ten Hag, um, Tanaka? Is it time Ten, Ten Hag trusts him and says, from now on you're starting? Not when our centre backs are fully fit. Like this has come by situation, and again, recency bias. Yeah, like, I, know. I love more, recency bias when it comes like, to Man United. Like, like I'm more, I'm more for <laughs> on merit. Yes, Maguire should start, but let's not act like. Maguire's not good. He's playing well, but you've got to take into consideration because when you're watching the game, there was that whole Man United have won their last um, 15 out of 16 games when Maguire's starting, right? They, they said that. And it's like, yeah, that's fair. But you look at the caliber of opponents he's first. You look at the type of games Maguire's been playing. Like with all due respect, bro, Sheffield was just pumping balls up the top. Like Maguire loves that. Yeah, he loves Maguire that. He loves, loves no tactical football. That. Com 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 I call it fridge uh, football. Maguire Com just... Yeah. <laughs> Maguire <laughs> You just throw the magnet At the fridge and he sticks I'm being serious Because Maguire does not Maguire cannot cope with it When he's got little Gabby Who's going I'm going left I'm going right Which way yeah. I'm going Maguire's like Oh shit Put the ball in the air <laughs> And let me look at it The fridge only opens one way <laughs> He just yeah. wants the ball in the air He just wants to like Because okay, he's, he's great in the, in the air Yeah with, with, uh, And I get that Like What I would say is He's been playing <laughs> well He's, he's been playing well, but it's you got to take the, the opponents into consideration. Well, it's the same with McTominay. Yeah. Like, McTominay scoring goals. Because oh, he went here. Right. McTominay <laughs> Nazario. Like, he touched, the, he touched the ball. He from touched McTominay the ball ten, Nazario to the boy from the Nazario. Ten times. How much did it? How much? Bro, he touched the ball ten times. The whole in the, game. In the 60 minutes he was on. Fuck. He was playing number 10. Yeah. Can someone make a like, McTominay Nazario photo? And put it in the <laughs> yeah, we need, we need that, bro. So, Shout out to Maguire. He's playing well. Um, I don't think he deserves to be dropped. That's what I would Darby, say. So Derby this week, you play Maguire or no? Oh yeah, boys. Can we get your takes as well on that? On that. Um, right. So Derby this week, you play Maguire or no? It depends because I think Johnny Evans actually played better than him. That's so you play. So what's, what's the centre back pairing you put up against Harlan, Doku, and Foden? With what's available to us at the moment, I'd, have, I'd probably go Varane Maguire. Um, that's fucking disastrous. <laughs> but that's why I, asked the I, got, I, got, I got, I got, either that or Johnny Evans. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Martinez got, has gone really we far. Got, we time. got no options. Like, cause, <coughs> no, because Lindelof's gonna have to play a fullback because he's gonna either have to be left or right back. So, so the derby, I am surprised Pep dropped Ruben Diaz. I'm not surprised, actually, but I'm surprised he did it like that. <laughs> Sorry, I was just checking my sound. Yeah, right. you're good. Um, why are you so surprised, bro? You know Pep Guardiola. He had a couple of stinkers, yeah. Like, no, no, I'm not he, gonna lie. I said this to you on the weekend. I said if Ruben Diaz has doesn't have pace, right? 
So he has to make up for it, in, especially in the way Man City play. Man City don't defend, but when they defend, it's run, it's track back defense. That's why we talk about Grealish in a high regard in defensively. But because they're up the halfway line, and I watch this with my own team, because Matip isn't the fastest. You know, Trent Alexander Arnold doesn't really get back and recover well. It's you I, rely on Trent. Uh, I rely, rely on, on really Van Dyke. If Fabinho, Fabinho ends up playing in the center, if Fabinho, when he was there, He's not the quickest. You see him running just a light bulb. Just doing Robbo's nothing. Quick, cover though. space. Robbo's yeah, really quick. Quick. you need to cover space. And yeah. Ruben Diaz at that, he's not the best at that. Ruben Diaz is, is great, like close distance. Like he's a f bro, one on one defender. I don't need this disrespect on Ruben Diaz. He's a phenomenal defender. He's unbelievable. But one on one defensively and as a leader and being on the field affecting, he's 100% well. But you need pace, bro. And for City, if you're if you're not there, <laughs> if your head's not screwed on in that right moment, you're gonna get dropped. Because there's four other centre-backs that can play there. Akanji. Ake. You've got like 400 Stones. million in centre-backs. Like yeah, uh, you had Laporte last year. Gvario. Like, mm. And uh, Kyle Walker can even play there. You know? like, and you have that... Like, Stones. Stones. Like, yeah. There's so many players that you can pick from that it's not a problem to drop and it's a good thing actually. Mm. Because he did this last year with Cancelo, Diaz and... Um, I can't it, te it tests the player's character. 100% bro. And you've got to keep these players hungry. They just want to treble. Mm. If they don't win anything this year, they don't really give a... F they just want to treble because... Like, I was watching the Bex documentary... And like, I never really fathomed how crazy the treble was. And like, now Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is like up here. You know what I mean? Compared, like, I understand the value of one goal. Because of one crazy goal one and goal. a crazy moment. Yeah. And, Aguero. Aguero, yeah, anyway. Yeah, um, but it's very important. And I think he just, he's got to do this shit to keep him hungry, bro. Yeah. It's the only but way. I think Akanji getting a red card got Ruben Diaz's spot back. Yep. So next week, you're looking at a city lineup of Kyle Walker. Gavario, John Stones, and Ruben. Diaz. And big credit to Carl Walker, bro, because he's won everything. He could have just went off. He could have gone. But to bro, Bayern you Munich. seen you see him against the Arsenal trainer when he had a, he had an argument with the Arsenal after Arsenal mm. beat them. He mm. had a full. That's that's what you want, bro. That's the hunger. That's, a man, that's one th reason why, no matter how Brexit he gets, Pep wants him. He wants to keep him there. That's why we gave him a contract. But boys, I need your predictions quickly before we get into the yeah. last segment. Manchester United, can I know where they get? Where's the game at? Trafford. It's Trafford. At Old Trafford. Manchester United, at Old Trafford playing City. One of the biggest, greatest derbies. So much anger, so much, you know, fire in this. Dominated by one team most of the time recently. Boys, I need your predictions. I'm going to start off with you, Tanaka. Honestly, bro, I don't know. That's like, not the answer. I no, want no, it, no. I want to get it. So it's going to be a long-winded answer. I don't know because historically we've been in this position many other times when... Everyone says we're going to get absolutely fisted and we pull a result out of our ass. We could win this game or we could lose 6 0. Like, that's the type of team we are. Yeah, like. that's we're, the thing. We're, we're, we're literally, like, I'm not trying to even say I don't know to be like because I'm scared or I'm bringing results. I, I genuinely yeah, don't, genuinely, I, 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 after, I genuinely don't after, know. After, let me ruffle his feathers. Yeah. After 6 0, do we blame Sir Jim Rackley for? <laughs> like, no, no, no. But I, 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 gen, I genuinely I don't you, I know. I, I genuinely <laughs> do you know what's <laughs> fucked? I agree with him. Like, we could either win 6 0. Or we could lose 2-1. Form goes out of the window. It's very important. I, 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 it's Liverpool good. against Everton. We yeah. played horrendous. All right, we won 2-0. But that game could have been 1-0 in 30 seconds. Yeah. Calvert Luna almost scored in the first. It's <clears> a derby. <throat> you don't know what to expect. And it's a sport. That's why we love this. And but I need your final uh, prediction. I think for us, it's just going to be how we manage emotions. Because I know they are going to do a Bobby Charlton tribute um, before Ooh. the game as well. That could be a great lead None of your players even give a fuck anyway. Yeah, I know. They don't give a fuck. They got battered like, by Sheffield. But the, the crowd, the crowd's going to be behind it. Yeah, yeah. true. Um, I, I like our chances at Old Trafford better than I do. Um, Anywhere else. At, at the, if I was at the Etihad, I wouldn't even be talking about, I don't know which team's going to rock up. Like, I think it'd be a formality. Honestly, if City score more than two goals, we lose the game. I want to put that put it like that. So you know, so you reckon United will score? Two? So give me a score. Huh? Two one. I don't think we two can. United. I don't think we can score two goals. Stop one second. Give me a final score. If we win one nil, um, if City score two or more goals, we he's lose. not giving you the. Because I need a final. Cut. I said one nil. <laughs> oh, okay, one nil. I said one nil. Right, say it properly and look at the camera. When yeah, you yeah. One nil. So Fuck. One nil. Who? Man United. Uh, say it again. Full four. sentence. One nil to Man United. Three nil Man City. Fuck no. Three nil Man City. Uh anyway, Mems. I don't trust this team, bro. Mems. It's going to be a good game. <coughs> uh, hot take. I'm going to say 2 0 to Man City. Julian Alvarez and Bernardo Silva, goal scorers. I'm going to get 3 1 Man City or or 1 0 Man United. I or, don't believe also, in, I don't believe in form. I don't believe, I don't believe in form. I don't believe in we're this good, we're that good. It does play a big part, but I think in games like this, emotional games like this, especially with the Bobby Charlton tribute that's going to happen. 
even if the players don't care, the, play, the fans care. And mm. they're going to hear it. And they could make... It's not even about United. You know, it's all about City in these games. If City rock up and like uh, Haaland's like, ha <laughs> it's fucked. It's done. You know what I mean? But if United, uh, if City rock up and they're like easy work and the fans are behind them giving them a hard time, it's a whole different ball game. So uh, yeah, I'll go 3-1 City or 1-0 Man United. Mm. Boys, last thing before we go. Strikers, quick start, bench or sell. I had to get this out of the way because I love Ollie Watkins at the moment. Oli Watkins, Evan Ferguson, or Ivan Tony? Who are we starting? Who are we benching? Who are we selling? I'm starting Ivan Tony, benching Oli Watkins, and selling Evan Ferguson. I'm sorry, I know Evan Ferguson's exciting and he's young, but Ivan Tony is guaranteed 20 goals. Guaranteed That's in the back, 20 goals. And um Okay, stop. What if I put Rasmus Hoyland in there? He, I'm selling Rasmus Hoyland. I fucking like Rasmus uh, Hoyland. Uh, no, no, I like them. No, no, I like them. You're just going off credit. I'm going, credit. Bro, Ivan Tony is guaranteeing you going, 20 goals. He's looking at his bank account and going, I'm taking the safe option. <laughs> yeah, literally. I'm like, <laughs> no, no, but I'm telling you that you can't pick Ivan Tony. It's, uh, uh, it's okay. Ferguson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's f- How confusing is it? <laughs> okay, so well, was, no, like, you got to take Tony out and put Rasmus Hoyland in. Okay, so Rasmus Hoyland, Evan Ferguson, and, and Ollie Watkins. I'm starting Ollie Watkins. I'm benching. Fuck. <laughs> I'm benching Evan Ferguson. I'm selling Rasmus Hoyland. Uh, Tanaka, we'll do that one. We'll do Evan Ferguson, Oli Watkins, and Rasmus Hoyland. Start bench or sell. I'm starting Hoyland. Um, this is this is the uh, the th- we, I just we spoke about this. Yeah, I'm starting Hoyland. I'm I, I gonna, fucking love him by the way. I'm I think gonna, he's I'm great. Not, I'm not gonna give reasons for starting him. Uh, bench Fergo. I would. In this situation, I'd sell Ferguson and bench Watkins because yeah. I want the experience off the bench if Hoyland isn't cutting it. But if we had Tony instead of Hoyland, I'm starting Tony. We all are. We all starting I'm benching Tony. Ferguson. I'm selling Watkins. Yeah, okay. that was a bad... Because Ivan Tony is the obvious start. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That, that's what I was thinking about before. Yeah. Um, who do I, What am I doing? I love Ollie Watkins at the minute, bro. I think he's so good. I'm starting Ollie Watkins. Yeah. I'm benching... I'm benching Ferguson and I'm selling Rasmus Hoyland. Although I think Hoyland's ceiling is much higher. I don't know. I want to see where Ferguson ends up. And then we can start judging. One more puppy. season at Brighton. I already. think because he's still on the bench at Brighton. He doesn't yeah. even start over Danny Wolbeck. Mm. So it's like I think <coughs> with Hoyland and Ferguson, the potential is both like they're very similar players, by the way. They're very hold back. It's, yeah, it's pass, very go. up there. Um, I think it'll just be about who gets developed better. I think Ferguson has the better environment to be developed and to be and to have the potential to become a bigger player. But Hoyland, what he has over Ferguson at the moment, is he's gonna get a lot more minutes. Definitely. So that might speed his development he's up. He's gonna be the main he's the main man there, really. That might speed his development up fast. It might take Ferguson two years to get to where Hoyland might be in one year. Next year. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I agree with that. Uh boys, that was it, man. That's uh, a pretty good episode. We've got some good stuff out there. Shout out to all the boys that are watching. Don't still. go and watch the UFC episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Comments. Like, come on, subscribe. Bro. I love come, you all. Look come after on, yourself. Bro. Put your... Make sure um, you like, comment, subscribe. And if you like this stuff, share it with your mates. And follow Please. us on Instagram. Love you all.